shut your mouth Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Hello my friends, today our lecture about plumbing system in high rise building. This is our outline. First we talk about plumbing. Plumbing is the system of water supply method in building or house. Plumbing are mainly cover in two parts, first supply the water respect floors or given point and second remove wastewater. There are mainly three types of the plumbing system. First one is the potable water plumbing system. What is the mean for the potable water plumbing system? The potable means it's safe to drinking and food preparation. This potable water plumbing system is the main part of a plumbing system. It provides to supply water to building or house, then a single line brings water into the building or house, and distributed to individual fixtures. Second one is sanitary drainage plumbing system. This system help to the removes wastewater from a building or house. The sanitary drainage system help for remove gray and black water. Sanitary drainage system has mainly two types of pipe, one for the waste line and other for the vent line. Third one is storm water plumbing system. This system helps for the carry out rainwater away from building or house, this system older day using sanitary pipes and but now were days using a separate system. The main part of a storm water plumbing is gutters. This are the some specific tools using plumbing works. Then we talk about water supply system. There are mainly two types of water supply system available first one is indirect water supply system, the second one is direct water supply system. First one is indirect water supply system. The indirect water supply system this type of system using developing countries, example Indian, Pakistan, Sri Lankan, and Asian countries, these countries. Municipal water supply pressure low then using indirect water supply system. This system has two main tanks, one underground tank and overhead tank. Due to low water pressure water can't reach overhead tank. Then water will supply the overhead tank with the help of a pump. Then the water flows to the respective floor with gravity. This indirect water supply system have some advantages. Main line or water supply line damaged or when the water supply is stopped, water can still be using available in the overhead tank. Lower demand on water main. Then we talk about disadvantage of using indirect water supply system. Making overhead tank costly. Booster pumps are required for getting good pressure. Increase the cost of pipe works. The upper floors get water less pressure and below floors and ground floors get water high pressure. Second water supply system is direct water supply system. Direct water supply system using devolved countries, for example. America and European countries. When the pressure in the municipal water line is sufficient direct water supply system using. This system have only one main tank in underground and it take municipal water supply line, after getting water for underground tank using pump with help of hydraulic pump with to the respective floors. Advantage of using direct water supply system. This system not request overheard tank. Less pipe work. Less maintenance. This system economical than indirect water supply system. Pump can design and water can be supplied at any pressure at any floor. Next we talk about disadvantage of using direct water supply system. When using this system we want continuous power supply. No power no supply of water mean when no electricity we can't supply the water. Differences between indirect and direct water supply system. Indirect water supply system have more pipe work but when using direct water supply system have less pipe work. Indirect water supply system available overhead tank but direct water supply system not available overhead tank. When making indirect water supply system have less risk but making direct water supply system have risk of contamination. Indirect water supply system can be used in high rise building but direct water supply system not use high rise building. Next we talk about water distribution systems in building. Water distribution system is the one of the important part of a building. This system main target is deliver water to consumer with appropriate quality, quantity, and pressure. There are some requirements of good performing distribution system. Water quality should not get deteriorated, 
in water distribution lines. Every floor's water distributing time equal. A non-consumer would be without water supply, during water distribution lines repairing. Then we talk about sewer systems. Sewerage system is the underground or substructure networks of pipes that carries waste water from building or house to treatment facilities or disposal. Sri Lankan building construction not using treatment facilities, Equoropean countries, Astrurilayan, and other countries use this treatment facilities. They use waste water their day-to-day -day work, important of filtering waste water are reduces water pollution, reduce water pH value, less waste full. Reduce organic material, balance environment, give good health full life for the human and animal around waste water collection area, etc. What is wastewater? There are three main types of wastewater. First one is black water. Black water is wastewater from toilets, food preparation sinks, dishwashers. Second one is gray water. Gray water is wastewater from washing machine, bathtubs, bathroom sinks. Third one is yellow water. Yellow water is collected. Then we talk about sewerage systems. The building sewerage system is very important and difficult to make. Sewerage systems help for the give good environment factors. Healthful life, reduce air and water pollution, etc. There are four main types of sewerage systems. It's depending upon the number of pipes. One pipe system, two pipe system, partially ventilated one pipe system, single stack system. One pipe system. This system including one main soil and waste pipeline for carry out all waste material in building, this system not collect black water and gray water separately, waste from WCs, urinals, sinks, WBs floor drains, showers etc. One pipe system have one waste line and one vent pipeline. Two pipe system. Two pipe system, this systems have two types of main pipe waste water line and vent pipeline. There are two main waste lines and two vent lines. Using this system we can collect black water and gray water separately. Next we talk about partially ventilated one pipe system. This partially ventilated one pipe system is similar to one pipe system, it contain with one waste line and one vent line. The different between one pipe system and partially ventilated one pipe system is vent pipe is provided for the traps of soil fittings, example WCs and urinals. Single stack system. This system is different than every pipe system because it is the most economical pipe system. There is one pipe for collecting waste material and vent, there is no separate pipe for vent. Then we talk about what are the hazards in plumbing work. Workers are working at high heights. Confined spaces. Repetitive movement. Eye injuries, asbestos, hand tool injuries, cuts body part, slips trip and fails. Thank you for watching this lecture.